This is going to be a quick overview of how to set up a Windows PC to access desktop anywhere, a teleworking solution provided by AFRC. Uh, desktop Anywhere is an app that will connect you to a virtual computer inside the Nippernet at Robbins Air Force Base. It keeps government information on government systems while allowing access from a home computer. Uh, it's different from the government VPN connected laptops that you might have used previously, as you won't need to check out any hardware and the desktop environment will be all virtual. You'll be accessing things just like you were sitting on base. Keep that in mind while you're using your web browser. You need to maintain situational awareness. Stay mindful of PII and keep your workstation locked while not in use. It would be like leaving your Nipper desktop at work open for, for the unauthorized user to access it. Uh, this is the process overview for setup. Before getting started, you'll need to read and sign a telework agreement and submit it to the unit for approval. Uh, you'll need a CAC reader. The unit may have readers available. The SCR3310 gray reader is the most common type. You've probably seen them on the desks at work. They can be purchased from AFES and Amazon and are fairly inexpensive. The DOD root certificates are how a computer knows it can trust that sites are legitimate. Uh, commercial Windows and Macs do not come preloaded with DOD certs. When you go to the Air Force portal and only see an error page, you probably need to install the DOD root certificates. Uh, to access some of the software and resources, we'll have to log into the Air Force portal. The active card middleware assists Windows in accessing your CAC. If you are accessing Outlook Web Access and you are prompted for your PIN repeatedly, you probably need to install the active client middleware. Uh, the Desktop Anywhere software is a commercial product from VMware that allows your computer to connect to and create a session with a virtual PC at Robbins. Uh, once Horizon is installed and a reboot is performed, you'll enter in the address of the server at Robbins and you'll log in with your cat card and PIN just like a normal computer. Uh, OneDrive will connect to a folder on your virtual computer to a server and from there you'll be able to access those files that you saved uh, anywhere on Nipper and it's pretty useful. Um, in the video, I, I like to use search because I think it's more intuitive and easier to follow. Uh, here are the direct links. I'll try to have them included in the description along with this video. Uh, disclaimer, militarycac.com isn't a government site, but it has been a helpful resource for many years. Uh, given current events, teleworking is in high demand. This will affect performance and availability of the system. It might be necessary to flex on access times when there is less use. It can be frustrating, to put it mildly. Uh, additional assistance is available over the phone and on social media. The AFRC setup guide in the portal is a great resource. Uh, you might not need every step in this guide. If you already have the DoD root search installed, or if you already have active client, there's no need to reinstall. So with that, let's get started. Thank you. From Google. Search for Install DoD Root Certificate. Navigate to the PKI, PKE website link that you see there on the screen. On the left side, look at End Users, Getting Started. Open Windows, if that's your operating system. Select Non-Administrator. The file will download. Run it. Yours may look a little different from mine as I have already installed the software. Next your way through, accepting defaults. The application will install. After the application is installed, you'll run it. This is where your results will differ from mine if you have not already installed the DOD root certificates. Uh, you can choose to update it if you'd like. Install certificates. As I see, I have one new one. You'll have more than one new one if you haven't done this before. And that's it. Once you've navigated to the portal, go to the search bar, search for active, A-C-T-I-V. Select common access card middleware. Your results may differ from mine. It may prompt you for your PIN again on this link. Uh, that application is going to download. It's a zip file, 
So once it's on your hard drive, you're going to have to extract it. So from here, you're going to want, probably want to go up a directory to leave that zip file. Right click, select extract all. That's going to decompact it so that you can run it. And from there, select install. This script is written by the software provider to install the program. Uh, you will get a warning from Windows because it doesn't trust that file type. Click more info and select run anyway. Uh, yours will take longer than mine through the magic of video editing. Once that process is done, you should see an icon at the bottom right and go ahead and select it to see if your cat card information is available to you. And that's it. And navigate to Google. From there, search for VMware Horizon. That's the client software you'll use to connect to desktop anywhere. Uh, I like to use this link. Make sure you're using the newest version. You'll want to use the client for Windows at the top. Go to downloads on the right. If Windows is your operating system. From there, press download. Wait for the download to complete. Launch the executable. That is user account control, blocking my screen out. Uh, after the executable has completed, it is going to require a reboot. So if you have anything saved or open, now would be a good time to go and save and close those things. Okay, after your reboot, you should have a VMware Horizons icon on your desktop. This is the client that's actually going to connect you to Desktop Anywhere. You're going to add a server. Double click. The address of the server is AFRC Desktops. US af.mil. Going to connect. It's going to prompt you to select a certificate. You'll probably have to go to more choices. Choose your authentication certificate. It's okay. It'll prompt you for your PIN as usual. Accept the agreement. From there, you'll launch Windows 10 SDC 5.5. Accept the notice and consent banner. And at this point, you are logging into a virtual PC hosted out of Robbins. Um, once you're in, you will be connected to the Nippernet, uh, very similar as if you were sitting in the building at work on UTA.